Welcome to KeyboardBlues.com. This is section two of four taken from the introduction to chapter 11 from Blues for Piano and Keyboard. And now you're ready for skill number two. So you go back to the video vault and you take a look at skill number two for the key of A. And you'll see, instead of half scales, now it's a full one octave scale. Let's take a look at that video from the video vault. Skill number two for the key of A. Skill number two, key of A. Full one octave scale. Here's the right hand. the left hand. Hands together. Then you'd fire up the backing tracks again and you'd go back to the key of A, the slow version, and you'd play skill number two along with it. And it would look something like this. Start with the right hand. Here we go. And the left hand. Hands together. Now I like to throw just a little flourish at the very end of each one of those. Let me show you. Right here. Just a little boop at the end. It just gives a little rhythmic push. The left hand would be like this. It's just kind of a little extra rhythmic jump I like to throw in there. You'll see me do that in a lot of the videos. Okay, we're going on and we've spent the afternoon at your house and you can kind of see where this whole thing's going. It's going to get more and more aggressive. And let me just remind you, you don't have to move through this quickly. If you stay at skill number one for a month or, you know, skill number one and two for a couple months, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you're always increasing and always pushing that envelope. But at this point, we've been here for the afternoon and you say, hey Dave, I want to move on. Skill number three. Skill number three, and you'll find it in the video vault. We're going to take a look at it. It's called the two octave scale. Let's take a look at skill number three from the video vault, key of A. Okay, we've had to zoom out the video a little bit so I can show you skill number three. It's a two octave scale. The right hand looks like this. And the left hand looks like this. Hands together looks like this. Did you notice that the two octave scale was exactly the same as the one octave scale except for the transition between the octaves? Rewind that and take a look at it if you need to. And then it's time to crank up the rubber band again and get them going on the key of A, the slow version, and we're going to play skill number three against that backing track. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Now, remember, if you've never played blues scales before, and this is kind of your introduction to it, and you're thinking, oh, man, this is ridiculously hard. Remember, at this point, we're, I mean, if you're working really, really diligently, we're maybe three or four months down the road where you're working every day to the point where you can get both hands going, two octaves. That's super aggressive. I mean, that's pretty advanced. So if you, if you have to look through this and you get an overview and you think, man, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that. You know what? Take my word. You will be able to do this. 40 years ago, I wasn't able to do this. Of course, I'm only 39 now, so yeah, it'll just take you a little while, but eventually you'll be able to do this, especially if you really dig in. You know, there were years, um, my early college years, I was majoring in music, and I really wasn't taking things that seriously until I saw a great piano player, and it really turned me on, and I thought, my goodness, if he can do that, I can do it. I remember uh, I was talking with another musician about this and he was saying how discouraging it was when we saw this great piano player and I said, you know what? You can either be discouraged when you see someone and say, you know, I'll never be that good or you can be inspired and say, wow, look what God's doing through that person. Maybe I can aspire to do that as well. So I want to encourage you and say, you can do it. You've got, if you've got 10 fingers and uh, you've, got, you've got a desire to do this, Man, dig in. God will give you the desires of your heart. That's what he promised. So I want to encourage you, dig in. You can do it. There's actually a few more skills here. We're going to look at the three octave scale, the broken octave scale. That's a lot of fun. And then the turnaround scale. And then the last skill is putting all this stuff together all in a row. And by that time, you are ready to be the big funk daddy or queen funk mama, whatever the case may be. Now, the video vault does not contain any videos at all for this skill. Here's why. The three octave scale is exactly the same as the two octave scale, but just has another octave on top, okay? So there's no videos in the video vault for this particular skill. However, just for the sake of explaining things really clearly, I want to show you what it looks like, okay? We're going to take a look at the three octave scale right now, even though it doesn't show up at all in the video vault. Now the three octave scale is the same as the two octave scale with just an extra octave. Makes sense, doesn't it? Here we go. It's the left hand. Alright, now let's play that against the backing tracks. Here we go. I'm just giving you an example of how to do things here. If you were practicing this really at home, you'd let that track go all the way. The full introduction to this lesson consists of four separate videos. This has been one of them. And I've posted all four of them on this site. However, if you want to get the entire lesson, and it's really quite a lengthy lesson, it's a couple hours worth of video, as well as a couple hours worth of audio backing tracks, lots of stuff to sink your teeth into, come on over to KeyboardBlues.com. In this website, there's a wealth of online piano and keyboard lessons that you can dig into right away, including this lesson. Before you leave this site, though, would you do us a favor? If these lessons are valuable to you and you'd like to see more, would you just take a minute and leave a comment on the site that you're on right now? Or you can simply rate the video. Either way, it really helps us and enables us to post lessons just like this one, free of charge. Thanks.